How does Ayn Rand philosopher view the United States of America today? People waiting in gasoline lines, people fearing a possible recession, people wondering whether we will survive as a nation because of military posturing by other countries around the world. Tell me how you feel. About that's a pretty big mm -hmm. statement right there. But first of all, to sum it up, I feel that this country is being destroyed by its philosophy, specifically by its universities. The most dangerous thing in this country today are the universities because they're teaching the kind of ideas that would necessarily have to lead to the destruction of this country. I think that the American people is too good for that kind of program. You notice that the people are turning to the right. That's a very healthy sign, but there is no leadership on, on the right. There is no intellectual leadership. There are no ideas. Uh, and it's very possible that the people will be defeated for lack of proper intellectual leadership. However, the basic premises... Excuse the basic me, but then you don't mean Harvard intellectual leadership or Yale intellectual leadership. I mean a Harvard that would be preaching American ideas, more specifically reason, individualism, capitalism. If an institution of the intellectual prestige, which they don't deserve today, but they deserved it at one time, of Harvard, if an institution of that magnitude were preaching the proper ideas, that is the ideas on which America originally was based, or to say it briefly, the philosophy of Aristotle, which was the father of this country, who was. Uh, if they were doing that, you could have the biggest renaissance in the world, still not too late even now. You could have a better renaissance than the first one. This country would come back to life. But today, when all those institutions from Harvard on down are preaching collectivism, mysticism, and above all, altruism, self-sacrifice of yourself, the giving up, the resignation, this, all the disgusting kind of ideas that the whole world has been nurturing for centuries, when they do that, this country can survive. Can you give me a, can you be a little bit more specific? I've never sure. been to Harvard. I've never been to class there, but can you give me an That's example? That's your advantage. Oh, thank you. Of how they are teaching sacrifice, how they are teaching altruism? Well, open daily paper and look at Mr. Carter, a very peculiar creature, who is telling you that we're going to uh, overcome the oil shortage by driving less, by giving up. Let us all make a sacrifice. Let's lower our standard of living and we'll all be living better. Now, is that a proper philosophy to tell a country that has pride and self-esteem? At one time, with all the faults in American intellectual equipment, and there were a lot of faults, at least people were taught pride in their own country and in the good aspects, the great achievements of this country. Today, you're supposed to apologize to every naked savage anywhere on the globe because you are more prosperous, because you've earned your money. You have to feel guilty and apologize for it while he hasn't and doesn't intend to learn from you. He just wants your money. That's what we're being taught.